Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve question number 9 of figure it out, chapter number 2, lines and angles. We have already completed question number 1 to question number 8. So this is the last question of this figure it out given on page number 43. Let us read the question first. Measure all three angles of the triangles shown in figure 2.21a and write the measures down near the respective angles. Now add up the three measures. What do you get? Do the same for the triangles in figure 2.21b and c. Try it for other triangles as well and then make a conjecture for what happens in general. We will come back to why this happens in a later year. So what the question is asking is you measure all three angles, add it up for this one also and this one also and make your own triangles as well and then do the same thing and see what do you find out. Is there any pattern or some rule or conjecture that you find out? So let's do the measurement first. When you measure it, you can measure it like this or you can measure it like this. Okay, anyhow you can make the measurement and when you measure this angle, you will find this angle is 45 degrees. I have already measured these angles. So this is 45 degrees, this is 70 degrees and this angle is 65 degrees okay by now you should know how to measure the angles so angle a is 45 degrees angle b 65 degrees and angle c is 70 degrees next step add these three 5 plus 5 10 6 plus 4 10 11 7 we get 180 degrees okay we get 180 degrees for the next one you need to measure it so when you do angle B you will find out this measurement is uh, 63 degrees this is 60 here 63 degrees this measurement angle C measurement is 62 degrees and this measurement here is 55 degrees angle A 55 degrees B 63 degrees angle C 62 degrees add it up 5 plus 3 plus 2, 10, 6 plus 5, 11 plus 1, 12 plus 6, 18. We get 180 degrees. Now this one when you measure, again you can measure it either this way or you can measure it this way. For each of the angles you can do like that. And the measurement is, this is 30 degrees, this is 53 degrees and this is 97 degrees. Okay, angle A 30 degrees, 53 degrees and C is 97 degrees. Add it up, 7 plus 3, 10, 5 plus 3, 8, 9, 18, 180 degrees. So here also 180, 180 and 180. So what is the conjecture that we can make? So we see that when we add up all the three angles in any of the triangles, we are getting 180 degrees. And this is the conjecture that you need to write. Conjecture means it's a conclusion, it's an observation that you make after doing certain experiments. Okay. So we find out that the sum of the interior angles, the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is always 180 degree and this you are going to write as the conjecture. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.